Drawing is seeing deeply. When we spend the time to draw something, our eyes, hands and mind all work symbiotically to transfer the essence of something from one place to our page. The essence of that thing flows through us. We get to inhabit it, to know it in a new way, a deeper and broader way than we've engaged with it before. We know plants are good for us. They're our food, shelter, clothing, and they can be our medicine as well. Our spirits lift after a walk in the woods surrounded by trees, or when we see the bright, cheerful flowers that bloom in summer. These nettles I'm drawing, that stung you as a child, are packed with vitamins, minerals, and protein. They can help fortify your blood, soothe your hay fever, or protect your kidney function. Drawing plants connects you deeper to their medicine. Yes, plants can offer us physical medicine when their compounds interact with our bodies at a cellular level. This is the medicine we can see through the eyes of science. But drawing invites us into the emotional and spiritual medicine that plants give us. When you slow down long enough to draw a plant, you're encountering that plant in their space and at their pace. Making a botanical drawing requires deep, prolonged focus. When you look at something for a long time, your perception gets broader. Stop and pause now. Do you hear the bird song? The cars going by that a moment ago you were unaware of? When we slow down to a stop, still, we can perceive so much more in each moment. Our perception gets wider. This stillness and your wider perception puts you in the perfect state to receive medicine and messages from the plants you are drawing. Because plants' medicine and messages are often very subtle and easily missed by our logical mind. So go, step outside, breathe deeply. Can you see a plant? Any plant. The wild ones have a lot to say, breaking through concrete or inviting themselves into your flower bed. Can you see it? Look closely. I mean really, look closely. Are there five petals or eight? Are there hairs on its stem? Does it smell of wet earth or zesty lemons? Grab a pencil and paper and draw what you see and feel. Slow down. Trust all your senses. Take a glimpse into the soul of the earth.